Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. It really means a lot to me. Super quick disclaimer you guys. I have my dog in the background. She has a chew toy now so like she'll be quiet but I'm sure you can hear the rumbling of her like collar and stuff and like second can we talk about this sim really quick. This is Sadie Hartman and of course this is the asylum challenge. Can we talk about how like all right so I was trying to get like a thumbnail. Yeah my dog's just gonna be out of access. I'm sorry. Um, but I tried to get like a thumbnail and then I was like right here and she looked dead at me, but, um, I guess we'll hide that. But yeah, this is <laughs> the asylum challenge. I'm so sorry. She's just, don't, <sighs> I literally only have like a couple hours to film. Um, if I'm lucky during the week, I usually just play Sims for fun, but I only get the house to myself a certain amount of time a week. So we're just going to have to play through it. So this is Sadie. I believe her last name is Hartman. My mouse is like stuck. Hold on. Hold on. Professional right here. I believe her last name is Hartman. Yes, she is a vegetarian. She's neat, a quick learner and a bookworm. And so she is stuck here in the asylum. She is doesn't have the erratic trait because she's not insane, but she was placed here. So we have to prove that she's not sane by completing this aspiration, um, which is the Renaissance Sim. Ooh, if completed, blah, 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 many things at once. She will get the professional traits. All right. Um, so yeah, we have that to do. Um, of course, we're not part of any clubs. We don't have a job. We don't have anything. I'm going to go ahead and put her cell phone on silent. Um, this button, I actually have to go through, oh, it does it for everyone. Oh God bless. Um, I will introduce you guys to the Sims in a minute. If you are interested in this build, I do have it up in the gallery. Uh, my gallery name will be linked down below for you guys. Let's jump back into tab mode really quick so I can attempt to do this tour. So you first walk in, obviously, <gasps> what are they? Scandalous. They're not supposed to be here. I try, I thought I did the cheat to make them leave, but apparently they did not. Um, this is what we're working with. We have two bookshelves over here, barely any windows. That's our back door, two crappy couches, a rug. This place is completely worn down. Um, like we have cement stairs. There's no renovations whatsoever. And these people in here, with the exception of the two bajor whatevers, these are all our roommates, if that's what you want to call them. Um, so yeah, it's definitely gross and icky. There's a Spider, like it's disgusting so uh, we have a teeny tiny kitchen again super gross don't know what that is like just all kinds of nonsense and then maybe if I'm smart I can go upstairs I don't know how well I can do this there we go I'm cool um, we have two bedrooms I believe this is a bathroom but it's just a, a tub the toilet broke <laughs> and of course I'm gonna get out of this mode because it's giving me a headache oh great now my cat wants to talk you know what I've had enough is this my channel or yours move no oh my goodness um Mia says it's her channel now so sorry guess we're not playing as okay Shoo. Ooh, this first part's a mess um, so I did put some things around for us to use. Um, we do have a laundry bucket and let me move my mic because this is not working. <laughs> I did put in a laundry system for us. Um, I put in this decoration well from, uh, what's that called? Get Famous. <gasps> oh, excuse me. I did I put this in here from Get Famous because I really, I thought it was super cute. Um, I thought it made sense, you know, maybe they have to get their own well water to do like laundry or something. Um, she did go ahead and plant a couple things. I think I, what did I plant? Carrots, mushrooms, and grapes. I just wanted to get something started so we didn't have to deal with it. Um, but it is snowing, so there's not much we can do there. And I got us a telescope and a workbench. Now, realistically, they probably wouldn't have a telescope. Um, when I built this, I wasn't. I wasn't thinking clearly um, so we're not gonna do that oh and I have to get rid of all their money too because of course they did have some money I want to put the chess table outside I think um, 
I guess I could stick it in a bedroom. I guess it doesn't really matter. Of, of course, we only have three beds, four beds. I can't count. <laughs> Guys, am I good at anything? The answer is no. Um, we have four beds. Of course, we have eight Sims, so it's going to be very challenging. Where is the... the it's going to be very challenging for us to be able to get um, a bed at night, which I thought would be kind of fun. I cannot. Where? Hold on. Also, I don't don't know why my caps lock says cap lock is on, but whatever. We'll get the, the crappy one. Is this? Oh, make it brown. I guess we could put it in here, um, but I'm only going to put one crappy chair because I don't want everybody. No, not this one. I don't want everybody sitting here and playing with it. You know what I mean? Um, and that would be one more space for them to eat. Well, I guess I could stick it outside. That way it's cold out, so, like, they would suffer. Um, but I definitely feel like that is something they would put in a, in an asylum so they could, you know, have something to do. Oh, also, uh, excuse me. Oh, my God. I just want to stop recording so bad, but I really want to play, like, and make this part. Um, the, there was one more disclaimer that I completely forgot about. This LP is not a reflection of mental illness. Um, it's not a reflection of the... It's not a reflection of the mental illness care system or like an asylum of any kind. Um, it's not meant to make fun of anyone's mental illness or anything like that. That's something I complete, I suffer with as well. So if you guys want to talk about that in the comments down below, I will be more than happy to discuss that with you. Uh, super quickly, I'm going to go do something uh, with my dog and then I will be right back so we can like really get it started. Okay, so I got her a bone. Hopefully she'll be quiet. So... Uh, let me introduce you guys to the rest of the characters. I'm going to let them do stuff so um, that we can get this show on the road. Of course, my mic is messing up again. Hold it on. Um, we do have <laughs> two bathrooms, one toilet, one bathroom, uh, one kitchen area. They're all fighting over the toilet right now, which is hilarious because then when somebody pees, they're all going to be fighting over the... Um, up. <laughs> so the first gentleman we have here who's having a hard time getting to the bathroom. His name is Jared Morrow. There goes my dog again. He, of course, is erratic, high metabolism, gloomy, dance machine. He has the bodybuilder aspiration. Not going to use it because I don't care enough um, about anybody else. And, of course, I'm not allowed to control anybody else. That is part of the, the game here. I cannot control anybody else. We also have Sullivan Gunther. He has, like, a big scar in his eye. He, of course, is erratic. Um... Like I said in the beginning, Sadie is the only one without the trait. But he is erratic, noncommittal, kleptomaniac, um, and he has the, the pet aspiration. I guess it doesn't matter. I don't have to tell you all that. We have Lauren Coney. She is a queen. She's erratic, a bro, a self-assured, and she's got the home turf trait. Where are you, Letitia Buckner? Um, apparently this guy's just going to stand here while everybody pees, which, like, I don't care about. Um... Uh, what do I do? 50? Guess I should do zero, huh? I don't know what to do. Um, let's set it to zero <laughs> right now. Um, Letitia Buckner. She is hot headed, dastardly, lazy, and erratic, of course. Jaden Soto. He's a perfectionist, erratic, muser, and, muser and romantic. Um, Cameron, hold on. Everybody's doing so many things at once right now. It's insane. Cameron Enos, he is, come on, let's do work. A bookworm, he's jealous. He's a quick learner. Do you have, somebody in here is related to somebody. Uh, of course, we talked about Sadie and Bailey Matson. She is adorable, first of all. She's mean, domestic, clumsy, and erratic. I think she's adorable. I thought somebody was dating somebody. I don't remember. I wanted, like, some drama. I just don't know who's who. Or are they brother and sister? Y'all, it has been a hot minute since I've done anything with this LP. Is it you? Yes. Gunner is actually married to Letitia. Um, so we get to see how that plays out. Oh, somebody set the table. That was very nice. So, um, I cheated the money down to zero. 
Sadie is the only sim we can play with. She's going to come here really quick and steal the food, though. Um, just because we're kind of hungry and I don't want anybody to take it. Not sure if they will. Um, and we're just going to see what these sims do. We're going to see how they interact with each other. Um, who dies first. Oh, super quick. I want to show you guys. I did go ahead and add some lot treats as well. Oh, no. Sadie's a vegetarian. She's eating bacon. Crap. All right. I've already messed up. <laughs> So I did add the gnome straight. Broken things just seem to get mended overnight. It's as if kindly gnomes watch over the place. Oh, no, I don't want that. Never mind. Never mind. Cursed. A lot of things seem to go wrong here. And grody sims have a chance to get nauseous when eating, drinking, or using the bathroom. I thought gnomes was, like, a bad one. What's a bad one? Oh, we could do filthy. Gremlins. Gremlins is the bad one. Stuff breaks here a lot. It's like they're tiny goblins who come at a night and smash things. But that's ridiculous, right? Um, and that's going to, of course, help us get up the handiness skill. <sighs> oh, now she's violating her pencil principles by eating bacon. And we're going to have to throw up. And there's not going to be a toilet available to us. Oh, I feel so bad. Can you leave my home, please? Like, you are not welcome in here. Oh. Good day, Clara. Put my cereal down and get out of my house. I need you to also get out. Go away. Duh, leave before I delete you. Get out of my house before I delete you. Honey, you can stop eating that. She has a very upset stomach. I know, because I fed her meat, because I'm an idiot. Clara, please get out of my house. This is literally, like, you're literally not welcome here at all. And just because you live on this island doesn't mean you get to be here. So, get out. Bye-bye. Uh, Go home before I delete you. There, there he goes. All right. Um, I super quickly want to come up here and get a bed because that's my phone vibrating. Thanks. Um, but I want to get the bed first because uh, everyone. Cool. Um, if we don't get a bed, not everyone's going to get one tonight. And it looks like one Letitia and who are you again? Ger Gerard. Jared. Gerard. I'm calling him Gerard. I don't know. <laughs> he has already got a bed, and so did Letitia. Um, they are not the married couple, but uh, Mr. Who are you? Jaden is already in the tub. Oh, and it looks like homie Loren. 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 She ended up getting another bed as well. What are you two doing? Oh, they weren't hitting it off. Also, I'm going to turn this off because this is annoying. Don't want to hear that right now. Ooh, icky. I forgot they could sleep on couches. I think that's actually against the rules. Um, which I probably broke, which is fine. Um, nothing is going to grow out here because it is going to snow again. He's upset. Nobody cares. But as these sims start changing and living their lives, more and more laundry is going to pile up. And I don't think the other sims are going to do it. I think it's just going to be like a, a nap. Sadie. I almost called her Natalie. Don't know why. But it's definitely going to be like a Natalie thing that we just sit here and do laundry all day, which is fine. Is this guy ever going to get out of the bathtub? And I hate that I can't speed through the night because not everybody's asleep. Um, I'm going to have to delete these because you can't... <sighs> I can't have people sleeping on couches. So that's unfortunate. Um, but she's going to go ahead and wake up today. We need to read three books and achieve level three of the logic skill, which as soon as she gets up, we're going to go ahead and do this chick's angry. All right. Um, I'm going to make her get up now. Are you ready to go? Like, let's. Wow. He just stole that from her. Actually, really quickly, I want her to get up and use the bathroom. 
Um, that way we don't have to worry about somebody walking in on us. And she's going to eat this free cereal before somebody else does because they're going to start getting super hungry. Um, and with no money for ourselves, we're going to run into some issues. So she's going to eat this cereal really quick. Um, nobody is probably going to clean a lot, I realize. Um, it's going to be just kind of a Sadie thing. She's probably going to get stuck doing all the chores because that's just – that's just how this works. They're not going to do things on their own, unfortunately. Nobody cares, Lauren. Hey, I remembered somebody's name. So uh, let's go ahead and sit down. Maybe she could play chess with somebody. Let's play with Jaden. Let's make a friend. Cool. We're going to get right through this, hopefully, um, the first section. And there will be a time... When she gets through part of her aspiration, that I will allow her to go ahead and, um, like, once she reaches this third level, Pantanologist, and we achieve um, these first two, once she gets here, I will let her start roaming the island only. So at least we'll be able to leave the lot for a little bit and, like, see other things. But until then, she and everyone else is strictly forbidden, and they must stay in the asylum. So, we are almost at level three of the logic skill. Uh, Jaden, is that his name? Yeah, Jaden went ahead and went to sleep, so we're playing with Jared. Uh, he's not liking us very much. He's very um, uncomfortable. She is currently angry um, from an aggravating conversation because he's just, their relationship keeps going, keeps going up and down, um, just fluctuating a lot, just probably because a lot of his bad mood and things like that. As soon as we get this, skill up to level three um i will go ahead and let her um serve some fruit salad maybe we do have money um i sold the couches gave them to wooden chairs and i just left it like it's not it's nothing extraordinary you know what i mean so i just left it um let's see if we can make some oh fruit salad Cool. So at least we have the cooking skill. So hopefully we won't burn down the building. I'm sure someone will at some point. Um, that is inevitable. But for now, it's not going to be Sadie. I tend to speed through things. I'm sorry. Oh, he's going to burn it down, aren't you? Um, we don't have any money. So for him to like burn the place down, we can't afford it. So please keep your eye on your like grilled cheese or something. What is she doing? Guys, you're literally spending all my money on food. I do not want fruit earbuds. They're literally all trying to cook at once, and this is ridiculous. You're making what? Mac and cheese? What are you doing? You freaks. Well, too bad. It's going in the fridge. All right. Now that that's taken care of, let's come over here and use the bathroom and wash our hands. And hopefully we'll be on a different sleep schedule than everybody else. Um, but I did notice there are some things in our garden. Our grapes are not ready. Those are only a full time, but our mushrooms are ready. Um, so we're going to go ahead and sell all. We get six bucks from the mushrooms. Um, yeah, <laughs> six bucks from the mushrooms and only $15 from the carrots. The carrots are a fallen spring plant and the mushrooms are a fallen spring plant as well. What are you feeling squeamish from? Oh, from the nauseated tree. Yeah, they're going to be feeling pretty uncomfortable. <laughs> um, but at least she got to wash her hands. We didn't get that third scale trait, did we? We did not. What is this other plant that I have here? I have, oh, bell peppers and grapes. But grapes are a fall plant and bell peppers are a summer plant. So we'll have a little bit of something growing um, year round. Could you, can you, <gasps> she's uncomfortable. She can't do it. Oh, I don't want that. I can hear the seagulls. I can hear them now. She's nauseated from the lot trait. Forty-six minutes. Okay, uh, let's just come and clean this up then. Oh, he ate that. Okay. 
Hopefully the trait will go away in a second. Yeah, 13 minutes. Come on, girl. I just want to sell these before we go to bed. Um, because I feel like that would be most productive. Also, and then, I mean, we're going to go to bed and I'm going to end the part. That's what I mean. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. There we go. Now she's just exhausted. Um, but I need this little bit of change. Wait. Hold on. I'm going to set this to zero. And then we'll get the change from the mushrooms. All right, there's 30. Do we need to water any of these yet? Nope. 30, 42. All right, so you girls are going to take advantage of some empty beds and go ahead and get some sleeping time. And I'm going to go ahead and end the part, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I love this challenge. This is one of the first challenges um, besides Legacy Challenge that I've ever played in my game. I was playing Legacy Challenge before I even knew what the hell it was. Like, I just, I love that game. I mean, I love that game. I love my Legacy Sims. It's just so fun and hopefully we can spend more time with Sadie and hopefully you guys like this LP so just be sure to go ahead and subscribe it's to my channel that way you guys know when I post new content although lately I have been on my schedule of every Tuesday and Thursday to oh geez I don't even know my own schedule Tuesday and Friday with the occasional Saturday random video um I have a couple of things coming up and I'm really excited so uh and I will talk to you guys all in my next video bye everyone